Oh, hello. Hi. Um, when you debuted, mm -hmm. you were like 13? 15. 15. Right. I had just turned 15, 15 when the first album came out. Yeah, and that, and when I debuted in Japan, I was about 15 too. Really? Okay. So, but, like, how's it, how's it been since, like, since then? How's it, has anything changed just because you grew up a bit? Or? Yeah, and I grew up a lot from the first album. I was a novice back then so i watched a lot and kind of just sat back and learned mm. and um on the second album i think that's when i really started to come out of myself and really take more control creatively mm. so now i'm just like in a whole other place i don't mess around yeah. when it comes to what i want to do when my ideas are i spit them out and it's, yeah, it's, good. it's really yeah. it's good it's good feeling and now you're how old are you now just turned 21. what you've always did you, were you born in New York? Or? I was born in New York. I was born in Brooklyn, but I was raised oh. in Detroit, Michigan. So we moved there when oh. I was about five years old. So that's where most of my life is spent. And now I'm back home, so it feels good. Yeah, home is, yeah, I'm going to be turning to New York from September to go to college. And okay. Where are you going to go? Um, I think Columbia's. Yeah, so I was it's like, at Columbia yeah. or NYU. Columbia's great. Mm. Um, I, I saw your movie just last night. Mm -hmm. Like a, what do you call it? Like a screening? screening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I took some of my friends with me. Like, mm -hmm. they were all girls. And then after we finished watching it, they were like, oh, she's so skinny. And then, <laughs> <laughs> she's so slender. And then we were all talking about, like, how tall do you think she is? And stuff like that. Because you look really tall in your videos. I know. I get that so much. Yeah. You know, you're really little. I thought you were really tall. <laughs> I don't see that. Like, when I watch my videos, I, I, I don't look that tall to me. Yeah. I look, it was really funny. Yeah, but then, like, usually me too, like, when I see someone for the first time, they're like, oh, you're so short. Right. <laughs> like, thank you. Yeah, I know, right? Like, the like, first thing they say. Like, how should I take that? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> it's odd. But yeah, but no, I don't know, like, it's, like, when you see someone for the first time, do you think they just see, like, Alia, like, the artist, or? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, if they don't know me. No doubt in it. Looking totally at Alia, they see on TV. And it takes, you know, it takes a while to get to know me, especially because I'm pretty reserved. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot for me to open up, so. I'm pretty complex, I think. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was just really fun to watch, and it came yeah. through how, how much, like, how nice, how great the mood was on the on the, on the set. set. Probably we were just like thinking. It was so yeah. Thank you. It was. We had a lot of fun. There was like no beef between anybody. Everybody got along. Andre just he set the tone for the whole set. So everyone was just laid back and cool. Everyone joked. It was a lot of fun. I was very blessed for my first movie to be on the set like. And it was like yeah, it was a really nice part too. Thank you. Yeah, it was a really good part. I was <laughs> wasn't expecting to get such a leading role for my first time out but it just came together right yeah so. we're just we're just feeling bad for the meatball guy <laughs> we're, just, we're just laughing the whole time about like what are you saying and we're like oh, oh, what a part <laughs> he's hysterical anthony had us weak the whole time we shot the movie yeah. he always he was ad-libbing all the time throwing oh. in lines that no one expected like yeah. i'm gonna find you with your leo looking oh, <laughs> oh my god he's he's great yeah he's a lot of fun how was um Jet Li. He's dope. He's Aww. so nice. And he's a jokester. I like to laugh. Yeah. Yeah, so I love people with a great sense of humor. And he jokes. He joked with us today. He jokes on me. I make him artist all the time. <laughs> but he's just, he's a hard worker. And I really admire that. And um, he's just sincerely sweet. Mm. Really is. Because, like, um, it, it was just, just kind of funny to watch. All this, like the Matrix stuff and the Romeo and Juliet story, and like yeah. everything being brought together. And it was, where was that set in? Um, place? It, we were in Oakland. It was supposed to be California. And, right? Like, yeah, like California and everything. Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, that's uh, it. <laughs> California. <laughs> you forget sometimes. I'm just like, it's Canada to me because we're in there. But no, yes. But, so, do you want to? put more focus on acting or I really enjoyed doing the movie mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun yeah. I wanted to do it for a very long time so this 
this was the right priority, it was the right everything. So I do want to um, continue. I'm looking at some scripts now. And I'm going to continue with music. And definitely yeah. not going to abandon that. That's my first love. But I'm going to try to juggle both of them, see what happens. He's, um, when I saw you crying in that scene, I was just like, wow. And then I forgot where it was, but like in an interview somewhere, I, I read that. At first, you're like, I have to cry. <laughs> it was real so, scary. I read, like, I had one of the first versions of the script before I left to go to Vancouver, and I'm flipping through it, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to cry? I'm like, like, how am I going to do that? How do you, I've always watched movies and wondered how people do that on cue, yeah. and it took a while to uh, tap into that emotion and bring the tears forth, so my coach and I worked on that one for a while. It was one of the first scenes we shot, so I was really nervous. Whoa. Yeah, it was like the second or third scene we shot, and then it was like, ugh, we worked on that one. Oh, they shoot them like in really weird order. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's not oh. in order. They shoot it out of, out of out of order, so it was, that's interesting too. You have to like read, yeah. okay, what are you doing today, and then get into that mode and get into that feeling, mm -hmm. so it's an interesting process to put a movie together. Yeah, um, you worked with um Rodney? Well, Rodney Jerkins? Yeah. Oh, yeah, on the second album, sure did. Everything's gonna be alright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Like, I'm surprised you picked that one up a bunch. <laughs> no, because uh, yeah. I just worked with them like, uh -huh. like last last month. Yeah. And um, you like my next with singles, you? like the one that I worked on with him. Yeah. And, I'm just wondering what you thought of him. What do you think? <laughs> right. I'm just like really professional. I yeah. Um, you know how he used all the Pro Tools so mm -hmm. he's fast? Yeah. When they record the songs. Real quick. <laughs> At first so I couldn't get used to it. Yeah, it was... Uh, when did I work with him? That was like... 90... Beginning of like 96. I just turned 17 yeah. and... Um, yeah, he was cool. He was nice to work with. Mm -hmm. We just did one song. I didn't really get to know him. No, no, so. I just thought the machinery and stuff was so amazing because yeah. I'd be singing and then he'd be like, okay, another one. And I haven't even stopped breathing yet. And he's like, okay, <laughs> again. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yeah. One of those quick people, yeah. Okay. Different producers work differently. I like to take my time. Do you, now, do you work with like a lot of different producers, or do you like working with one stock? Um, well, I like working with different people because I like the album to have, you know, variety mm -hmm. of sounds. But I want it to be consistent, so I want everything to, to mesh. So I like to pick and choose who I work with. Yeah. Um, Timbaland, we just mesh mm. well. So he, yeah. he'll always probably have like majority of the work on my albums. But um, I like working with different people. But I have to feel like it'll work with me. Just mm. don't, I don't like who's ever hot. I won't pick just whoever's hot. It's mm. got to be something that'll work with my style so it'll come across right. How's your the third one coming along? Oh, well, well, we started it before I did the movie, but I had to oh, stop wow. and then stop again to the soundtrack. So now it's like oh, almost wow. starting over again because I've listened to the stuff I did and I want to change a lot of things and I have all these new ideas. So it's I don't know where it's gonna go, but it'll it'll be hot. I have a lot of hot songs I'm gonna keep, but mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it just yet. Are you gonna be staying in New York? For a while, or when when do you like when you record? Do you go somewhere else or just stay in New York? New York mostly. It depends if I work with someone who doesn't live in New York. Most of the time we'll just fly in. I like to yeah. work at home, so mm -hmm. so it'll be done there. I might see you around in New York someplace. <laughs> I know, right? We're like, gonna come. Yeah. So yeah, we have to hook up. Um. So can you like give them a message? Just I have to say thank you for.